Well, we go back to take over the community because we're going to have to do it, gentlemen. You can't expect the cops to fix this because they started it. But I want to be clear. I know some of us love our children, but some of our children are so far gone that we're going to have to put some of them to sleep in order to take back the neighborhood. Some of y'all don't want to hear that because you don't live in reality. But I'm telling you as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all of them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep for God! Nigga look like. You said I'm going to run to the light? Yeah. yeah you walking up him? Oh, shit. Damn. Fuck you worry about your brother. Damn. Fuck you worry about your brother. Damn. Boy, fuck you worried about your brother for, Carl. Shit. Shit. Why you walk up on that man, Carl? Shit. Well, he knocked your ass out, Carl. Hey, you might need a cold Sprite, homie. You might need a cold one, B. He knocked your ass out, dog. You better not call that man no nigga no Maloney, you know, home. But you call that man a nigga, though. He knocked your ass slap out, cuz. Look how you looking at that camera. Ooh. Uh, all praise to the Most High. Yahweh about Shimmy. I was shy about Shimmy Cockford died. It's a double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shout out to the Hope of Elect. This your brother, Atas Wan Baya. Coming back at you with another short lesson. All right. And we saw the two clips. You know, one of the young boys out in the street um, doing their little TikTok thing. And, showing forth the folly that young Israelites do, all right, young Israelite men, all right, are doing, all right, and then you saw a short clip of some guy, all right, going into a store, it looked like a convenience store, a gas station, whatever it was, and, and swinging, swinging on, you know, the, the owner or the operator of, of, of the store, okay, uh, because he called them, you know, the N-word. See, and uh, <clears throat> both of those short clips just show the state of mind that our people are in, all right, and that pretty much there's no hope for two-thirds of our people, okay, and this is why the Lord said he got to destroy them, all right, the only thing that's going to cure this matter is nuclear fire, all right, with the way that Jake is living his life, low level, low thinking, okay, low living, you know, mind state. And it's really at this particular point where, um, you know, we see the, the men of the Lord preaching and prophesying all over the Internet, all in the cities, you know, country roads, wherever. All right. The men are set up. OK. The prophets of the Lord. And you still have rebellious, as it says here, rebellion of the most highest people. Right. The, our people are still rebelling against the Most High and His Son, right? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So let's just jump into scriptures. I'm not going to make this real long. You know, the, the two clips speak for themselves. Okay? So this is uh, Isaiah 1 and 1. It says, The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Israel, which is both northern and southern kingdoms, right? The Lord's, what? People. Alright? In the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, king of Judah. Verse 2, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Right? And two-thirds of our people are just wicked as all get out. Okay? Have no intentions. Well, spiritually they can't because they're blocked, but have no intentions of seeking out the Lord. Right? And uh, as it were, I believe that was Umar Johnson speaking looked like he was given some kind of conference or whatever, but even he himself said these people have to be put down, that he can't do enough speaking to change the minds of these people today. Well, you know what? You can thank black culture for the way that these young people are acting, okay? All right? Because they have formed to themselves other gods, right? Um, how, how be it a... Uh, uh, whether it be gym shoes, you know, because they Jordan crazy, uh, 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 gangs, uh, drugs, 
okay, um, to the point of even just the fact that social media is like a god to them, okay, because they can't do anything without recording it, you see? But going on to verse 3, it says, uh, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider it. Ah, sinful nation, a people laid with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backward. Right, you know, <clears throat> and speaking of the children of Israel, but also that also includes what children, okay, or young people, you know, if you want to say it that way, okay. Verse 5 Why should you be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and, and putrefied sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither uh, mollified with ointment. Right, so uh, uh, putrefied, let's just go into it real quick, is a, is a wound. Fresh wound, and here in the Hebrew is ta'a raha, ta'a raha. Okay, if I'm saying it right. <clears throat> um, meaning to be moist, prop properly dripping, hence fresh, recently made, putrefied, uh, fresh or new. Right, you like a fresh, new, open wound, okay? And, you, and that hasn't been treated, okay? With any kind of ointment or salve, all right? All right, that's what that means, okay? But our people are rebellious, and you're rebelling against the Lord, and the Lord is going to bring destruction, okay? Let's go over to Jeremiah, and we jump in right here, Jeremiah. 2 and 20, and it reads, From old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands, and thou sayest, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest and playest the harlot. Right. Yeah, Lord, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. You know, our people promised the Lord that we would obey his laws, his statutes, and his commandments, and yet again they go off, okay, and serve other gods. Like I said just a little while ago, all these other things in this life. See, Esau was so slick, you know, with giving Jake the things that were that will ultimately kill him. Okay, giving you access to things that will ultimately kill your generation. You see, verse 21. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? For though thou wash thee, wash thee with nitre and take thee much soap, yet thy iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord Power. How canst thou say I am not polluted? Right, how can you tell the Lord that, oh Lord, I, 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 I haven't sinned against you. You know, I'm doing everything you told me to do. Meanwhile, you out there trying to find a Philly Blunt, right? You out there toting weapons, okay? You out there terrorizing the people in the public. You walking in the stores, somebody give you a dirty look or say something to you, you, you knocking them out. You see? Going on, it says, How canst thou say I'm not polluted? I have not gone after Balaam. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou hast done. Thou art a swift dromedary transversing her ways. A wild ass used to the wilderness that snuffeth up the wind at her pleasure. In her occasion, who can turn her away? Right, that's that's like these young people today. You can't control them, right? There's no amount of punishment that's really going to stop them from 
living the way that they're living now. See, because they had a generation, their parents, who were unruly, right? Who didn't listen to their parents. So you have two to three generations of wicked niggas in America, in Babylon and Great, who had access to things, you know, put out here mainly by Esau, all right? But now you have nothing but seeds of evildoers in this day and time. Now, Israel has always gone off, you know, but this is probably the worst time, okay, known to our nation. You see, for all the things that they can get into now. All right? And they're like a bunch of wild animals. Verse 24 again, a wild ass used to the wilderness that stumpeth up the wind and her pleasure in her occasion who can turn her away. All they that seek her will not worry themselves. In her month they shall find her. Withhold thy foot from being unshod and thy throat from thirst. But thou sayest, there is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers and after them will I go. Right. So our people are always looking for something else to satisfy them, right? Two-thirds of our people are just too damn carnal-minded and worldly, okay? Verse 26, as the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, right? <clears throat> now, when you put this in the context of today's so-called the black church, all right? All your so-called reverends and ministers and, and, and preachers and priests or whatever they call it themselves nowadays, all right, they just as wicked. It's just that a lot of people don't see it, okay? And they need to be they put to shame, okay? And, and a lot of these youngsters that you see grew up in the church, Okay, which shows you that that Christianity shit is not anywhere near uh, appropriate for serving the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, verse 27, saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone thou hast brought me forth, for they have turned me back unto me, and not their faith, turned their back unto me, Salakia, and not their face, but in the time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us, right? And that's always the case. You know, <clears throat> these youngsters get shot down in the street, let's say, and their parents run out there and they're on the news crying, carrying on, right? You see? And even they themselves, you know, find themselves laid up on, on, the, on the edge of death, you know, trying to, trying to get in touch with the Lord. Right? Trying to trying to trying to make it out of there, trying to survive, you see. Verse 28, for where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Right. So, you know, you went and said that you don't want to hear the truth. Right? You've heard you've heard the men, you've seen the prophets on the street, you walk by it, you scoff. We had a carload of niggas scoff at us the other day, young boys. You know, when we were at camp. You know, telling us, oh, get off the corner. You know, we doing this for money. Uh, and another car of uh, uh, young, unruly niggas, you know, cussed us out and drove off, you see? Because they, they, they don't want to hear the words of the Lord. They don't want to hear that they can't live a roguish-ass, vile life, right? That that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, but they've made gods to themselves, right? They're, they're, they're set that they run with, okay, or, or whatever the case may be, right? Smoking weed, smoking, period. Okay? All types of things, man, that are out here now. That Esau has put all these uh, uh, de 
advice is out here for young Jakes to just go out there and enjoy themselves, as it were, right? Until it leads to one or two places, either the penitentiary or the graveyard. You see, verse 28 again, for where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay. Get over here to 2 Ezra 9. And we'll just jump in right here, verse 14. It reads, Then said I, then answered I and said, Samachia, I have said before, now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish, than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop, and he answered me, saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such are the colors also. Such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husbandman is himself, so is the husbandman tree also. For it was the time of the world. Okay, and so a lot of things are going to come in like manner and associate. So when you're looking at these wicked, evil seeds of kids, guess what? More than likely their parents were wicked because they didn't even beat their ass enough to straighten them out. Okay, they let these kids let the TV raise these kids. Okay, verse 18. And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell <coughs> dwell in that, now live, no man spake against me. For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that will come into it, right? So you see all the devices of evil, all right, in the world today, okay? And Jake is just beside himself with what manner of wickedness they're going to get into tomorrow, okay? Because they have a plethora of ways to do evil now. Verse 21, and I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people, right? So the Lord has marked, all right, his people from the beginning of those spirits, those souls that he will keep and the rest of you will be destroyed, all right? When we talk about that word mark, as in Ezekiel 9, I believe, <coughs> It's talking about the Kawa, all right? Exemption, okay? Going on to verse 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect, all right? So the Lord has his own people, all right? His Israel inside of Israel, his grape, his cluster, okay, that he wants for himself. go here to 2nd Ezra 1 and 5 Salakia so we're jumping right there verse 5 alright so this is an instruction because the first four verses just go into the lineage of Ezra verse 5 go that way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children, right? From generation to generation, you know, and this Bible has gone from generation to generation, showing us the wickedness of our fathers, of our past, you see? So it's perpetual, it has continued, okay? Verse six, because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, younger people are, are carrying on the sins that ultimately they've always carried on from 
many, many generations back, and they come back into the earth doing the same thing. All right? Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. Am not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? But they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsels. Right? Who are the counsels of the Lord? The prophets. Okay? That you read in this book and who are here again, yet again today. All right? The ones that are being cussed out. Right? Like I said, we got cussed out. I saw another video of the brothers down in Dallas. Some big ass homo came up there and, and, and tried to harass them as well. Okay. So it's a lot of wickedness in our people, you know, in the earth today, where they're coming up against the prophets. Okay. Because they despise the counsel of the Lord. They really hate Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Verse 8. Pull thou off then the hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them. For they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. Right. Our people are rebellious. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go over to uh, Ecclesiasticus 16 and 1. And we'll read... Uh, We'll start verse 1. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Right? And you saw in that first clip, uh, nothing but young men, sons. They're somebody's son. Right? And that's the, that's the one thing about this social, social media era that you live in. You see, it as much as fun as they think that it is, okay, whether it was a joke, whether the, the, those weapons are real or, or fake, or whatever the case may be, it's not a good look either way. All right? And these phones, you know, are devices, as we read about, so many devices that have come into the earth that, that are no good. Okay? They forecast, uh, 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 forecast not forecast, but um, they... They show the folly, the mindset of Israel today, okay? Excluding the one-third, all right? They put on display their folly and their wickedness, okay? So, so it's a curse to them to have a cell phone, to, to, to go on TikTok, Snapchat or whatever else they got out there. Okay. One day all the laughing and the joking is going to end. One day. All right. Verse 1 again. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. And these children, they have no fear now. Okay. They're not afraid of death. They're not afraid of penitentiary. They're not afraid of police. They're not afraid of their parents. They're not afraid of their grandparents. Okay. They're not afraid of their elders, even their own neighborhood. Because, you know, there was once a time when if you was a kid back in my day and Mr. Mr. Johnson saw you doing something wrong, he could beat your ass and take you home and then you'd get another ass whooping. Okay. These youngsters today have no regard and no respect, okay, for anybody that doesn't look and act like them, all right? Verse 3, trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude, for one that is just is better than a thousand, and better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. For by one that hath understanding shall the city be replenished. But the kindred, the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. Okay? So there's no profit in seeing 
a gang of little niggas on the street terrorizing the people. Okay. There's there's no there's no glory in your son being the biggest threat of the neighborhood. Okay. There's there's nothing to be proud of when your son is a low life and doesn't know how to take the high road, okay, instead wants to go around knocking people out, all right, because that's thugism, that's niggadom at its best, you see. And then to have another simple Jake recorded and, 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 and put that out there for, for people to see. Because that's the way they get down. All right. So anyway, I'll end the lesson right there. Don't need to go any further. Um. Yeah, that's that's it. Con. This thing will not be corrected until the nuclear missiles fly. All right. And that's gonna do it. All praise to the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Shalom to the hope of the elect. I'll see you all again real soon with another lesson. Lord willing, shalom.